What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am coming to you right now from Canada and today we have a new singer from around the world. Is an Iranian singer and first off, apologies for any mispronunciations. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best here, but I may mispronounce some things, but let's take a quick look at his biography just so I have a little bit of an idea going into this what type of artist this is. So this is going to be a reaction to Moain. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm probably not doing very good. But Nazrola Moain Naja Fabadi, more commonly known as Moain, um, which is, you know, Persian, an Iranian singer. Moain was born in Naja Fabad, a city in the Isfahan province of Iran. He began his artistic career as a radio singer and released several albums before Yeke. Radost Medaram in 1986, which was his first album to be widely noticed in Iran. In recent years, Moine has become widely acclaimed in Iran and has played concerts throughout the globe. He is referred to as Javdan Sadai Esk. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. So apologies beforehand, which translates to the eternal voice of love. He has two daughters. Paris Cher and Satara. So yeah, let's have a listen. This is gonna be interesting. Today, one of you guys sent me this, Alain Naz. No idea what, I'm, so far, you know, my, I've listened to Mohsen Namju, uh, you know, a little Amir Tatalu. I only did the one song for him. Uh, obviously, Mohammed Reza Shajarian and uh, his son, Homayun Shajarian as well. So this will be another one added to the list and Palette. Uh, I did as well and then there was one other singer but um, Azimi uh, was his name Aziz Azimi their last name was Azimi I'm just forgetting the first name right now anyways thank you for joining me today in the reaction room let's get to this Moain with Ela Naz looks like a older recording let's have a listen and uh, see what we get Ze 
So I really like the tune. Like musically, it's it's great. It's got an upbeat uh, drum beat behind it, and, and just the musicianship. And it's kind of a juxtaposition with the the music part of it, and then his melodies and his voice. Very powerful voice. Every Persian singer that I've seen so far <laughs> is incredibly unique and separate from the other artists that I've heard. So yeah, this is cool. I like it. <laughs> Feel that emotion. Um, it's like almost haunting, but So one thing I'm I'm learning is that the Persian language, uh, Farsi, is a beautiful language. It's a colorful language. It's got peaks and valleys, and uh, I'm beginning to just you know when you close your eyes and just listen to those those vocals over that uh, instrumentation. It's very unique, and like I said before, all of the artists have been a little bit different. So you go from Mosa Namju who's doing some really, really sort of almost abstract uh, avant-garde styles in parts of his songs where he's emphasizing the the sounds and not focusing so much on the language. He's sort of emphasizing the phonetics and his, his vocalizations uh, and doing something different. This, I would guess, is something more akin to traditional, but it also is a beat. Um, and I love the instrumentation, the, the stringed instrument. I'm, I don't think that's a sitar, but sitar is one instrument that I love. It's got such a unique sound. Um, this is interesting. And, but of course, at the end of the day, I can't understand it lyrically, but you learn to appreciate it and uh, you recognize uh, the musicianship, the skill of the artist. <laughs> The grandness of it. <laughs> Right. Cool. Another entry into the Persian music collection on the channel. As always, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon. Make sure to like and subscribe. All my social medias are in the description. You can follow me at Mace Around the World on Instagram if you wish. And we'll see you all soon. Peace out.